thank you for becoming a popular member, renewing for six months, and also, welcome to the video! What if I told you that there has been a brand new Mazda RX-7 added to the Crew 2? In fact, a Mazda RX-7 that is so good that it is the best in the spec. That car is also the last car to ever be added to the spec that it's in. That car has also got a few issues. Well, it all begins with the MAD update. The last update the Crew 2 will ever receive brings us a bunch of skills. But it's not the skills directly. See, completing those skills gets you a bunch of points in hobbies. And hobbies gets you the stunt performer too, which gets you the Mazda RX-7 Evo Group B. This car right here, but this isn't any ordinary Mazda RX-7. I mean, you can tell that just by looking at it. This thing clearly isn't the round Mazda RX-7 that everyone recognizes. In fact, it's not even this Mazda RX-7. See, because the one everyone recognizes, the one everyone loves, that's the FD. This Mazda RX-7 is the FC. But the Rallycross Mazda RX-7 is the Mazda RX-7 FB. This one right here. And look, it isn't, it isn't great, but it still would have been nice to receive a base model. We didn't get a base street version of this. Clearly, you can have a bit of fun with this car, as you can see. There's some customization that you can do to it that makes it kind of cool looking, I will say. It's, I, I think it's one of the worst RX-7s, but doesn't mean I wouldn't have wanted it in the crew too. And we haven't gotten it. And actually, this is a greater issue with the rally cross spec as a whole. And here's the thing. It's an issue that's never going to be solved now because we're not getting any more cars. We don't have a base model Delta. We don't have a base model 037. We don't have a base model of that specific Lancer. We don't have a base model Peugeot 205. We don't have a Renault Maxi 5 base model or a S1 EKS RX Quattro or even a Fiesta, which I would love the base model for, but we just don't have it, or a C3. There's so many cars that we're missing the base models for. Well, our last ever Rallycross car does have that issue, but let's customize this thing, and then when we race it, it's gonna be a lot of fun for one reason. Oh, I see the, the livery's glued on. I, I don't know how I feel about when they do that. I mean, I guess it works with Mar uh, Martini at least, but it means that you can't actually get rid of that. I will say this phenomenal livery right off the jump, straight away, <laughs> brilliant. And I might actually go with some of the new uh, mad vanities. I will say this this vanity menu, a lot more satisfying, a lot nicer to use than the crew motor fests. I wonder why that is. Which one of these is new? Is that new? I don't know. It looks kind of bad. I know this is new, and a lot of these are new, but a lot of these are bad. Never mind. Maybe we'll leave the tires, but what we will do is put on mad vanities. We got a bunch with the new hobby. I'm not using the Spectra. I will, however, use... Oh, chalk or... Ch ch oh, chalk or bicolor. Or sparks. What a, what a, what a nice little assortment they gave us. <laughs> bicolor is interesting. I don't know if we've ever gotten a, a bicolor smoke. Mad fireworks, mad inferno. Those just look like vanity items we've already gotten in the game before. <laughs> I'm not going to put an underglow. I'm not going to put a window tin. And maybe we'll put a topper if there's a fun one. There is no fun one. Oh, ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. One, fireworks. That's kind of nice, like a firework. That's a, wait, we already have a firework nitrous, but that is a much better firework theme nitrous. Hang on, that's brilliant. That's better than the one we already have. Plus, the smoke is different colors on either side. We don't have that yet. That is the first time we've ever gotten a smoke like that. And this thing is just so zippy. <laughs> this thing's all over the place. It's so rapid. Well, there's a reason it feels so rapid. And that's because it is. Let's take the best car in Rallycross right now, the Lancer, into a Rallycross event. And then I'm going to test it if I can get better with the new FB. Because what I've heard is the FB might just be the best car in the spec. Okay, here we go. A car I've been using for years and years. 
If any car is to beat, this car has been the best for uh, basically ever since it came out. It is sort of joint in the position with the Escalade of all cars. Yes, an Escalade is the one of the best rallycross cars in the entire game. That makes no sense to me. But sure, what are you gonna do where using Crew 2 logic? I will say it's a very clean run. So this is very much gonna be the run to beat. But even driving this thing right now, it doesn't feel as insanely zippy as the Mazda FB feels when I'm driving that around in the open world. And God, listening to Crew 2 engine sounds? I can't believe we used these for this long. God, Ugh. and here we go. The time to beat is 1 minute and 54. Oh no, 53.7. Okay. This livery is beautiful. It's got Mattel, it's got Goodwood at the back, it's got the oh, what a what a well-made livery. And here we go. Now it's time to really see is this car actually as broken as it seems like it is. Oh my god. Bearing in mind, I have not got pro settings on this thing, which I just realized. Pro settings being the intricate settings you can change of a car to improve its handling, which I haven't done to this car. And it's obvious, it is very obvious that I haven't pro setting this car, but we're gonna run it and hopefully we can uh get faster. If not, I'll processing it and run it again. All this to prove is this the new fastest car in Rallycross? Is the last car ever added to Rallycross the fastest in Rallycross? Already, I just like, you've got to feel it, surely. You've got to just feel how much more rapid this thing looks like it's going. I will say it also has a lot of control for especially an unprocessing car. If it isn't the best, it's definitely close. We're closing in on the end and we're closing in on the time. Oh no, I don't think it's gonna beat it. I don't think it's gonna beat it. The Mazda RX-7 FB gets us a 151 without pro settings. Without setting specifically making this thing handle better. The two two seconds with with without pro settings. Zero zero ten ten. This thing is nuts. <laughs> and that's why I'm gonna take it into a special race just for this thing. That's right, I'm taking it into <laughs> down a path. <laughs> and this is a race inside of the off-road racing HQ. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Ow. You know what? It's cars like this that, oh, God, make me wish there was a Rallycross update in the Crew 2. In the, in the Crew Motorfest, sorry. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I missed, a, I missed a turn. Yes, I did. Thank you. Yep. All right. We got to go in here. What? Uh, over here? Yep, a Rallycross playlist would go so hard, man. Especially when they've got even more and more. How many Rallycross cars have they done recently? So many is the answer. Okay, ow. Oh, we're exiting the HQ, I guess? Hang on, yep, hang on. Yep, 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 there we go. Ah, it's a lap race. Here we go, exiting the HQ. Now these are gonna be the quicker laps. What a weird looking car, by the way. <laughs> what a <laughs> The six lights on the front. <laughs> okay. Oh, perfect slide. Yup. Ow. I will say the engine sound on this thing, it's not great, but it's definitely better. It's also got the brand new pops and bangs. I missed the check. I thought this was a checkpoint because that's a, that's a, a regular game rallycross checkpoint. Boys, this might be one of my favorite cars added to the crew too in a very long time. Maybe your last lap. We're at about a lap a minute, but we can do better. Nope, I guess not. I assume, does this thing beat out the Escalade as well? I'd hope so, because that would mean it's it's just miles above. Hug a tree. You do realize we're in the desert, right? Oh, ow. My bad, sorry. And the race and the off-road racing HQ in the brand new best car in Rallycross. Potentially the last meta car ever added it all depends on those brand new jaguars 
This thing could be the last meta, the last overpowered best car in this spec ever added to the Crew 2. And damn, that would be quite something for this car to hold. But also add the base model. I guess add it in motor first now, but give us the base model. Whoa, six lights. Damn. Thank you to popular members, especially thank you to famous members, and an insane thank you to star members, Grim Pepper and Extreme Speed, and an insane, insane top of the top thank you to icon members, HK and Extreme Speed again. I'm going to see you boys in the next one. And that's about it for the stream. So I will see everyone next time. That's about it for me in a bit.